So livestock and research organization has introduced a feed lot technology that livestock keepers can use, particularly for the Dorpa sheep. Very own Dennis Cicciano tells us on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Are you members of a chama and are running a farming business? Achieve your farming goals through Pamota Group Loan of up to 10 million shillings. No collateral required. Visit any Equity Bank branch to apply. At Nturumeti village in Narok County, Jackson Naikuni takes stock of what is today his livelihood. Dopa sheep. He no longer rears his livestock using traditional systems, having learned about a new technology set to change breeding of the dopa sheep. Kondo hawa, eh, utaweza waona kila asubui ukiwa nyumbani, sio lazima uwapeleke pale mahali ambayo wewe hu, ukiwa mwenyewe huta waona. Kwa mfano wale kondo wangu wako naivasha, nimechukua hata muda wa mizi musima bila mimi kuweza kuwafikia pale. The Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization, CALRO, has developed this fattening feedlot technology to help farmers boost quality of their livestock. Feedlot is generally a system or area where animals are fed or fattened up. The new technology is expected to be a game changer in the sector that has for years seen pastoralists rear traditional breeds for ages without notable improvement in their well-being. One of the key advantages of the system is shortening the rearing period by almost half. We developed a feed that can finish especially dopa sheep for six to seven months only, contrary to three years the farmer is taking with the sheep. And when a farmer takes too long with the sheep, there are so many risks. Risk. One is on loose due to drought, it can be stolen, and also on diseases can come and wipe the whole flock. Wale wako huko, ukiwaangalia pamoja na hawa ambaya tu, tunawafuga hapa, wako na tofauti mwingi sana. I, wale watamaliza miaka tatu ili nuwapeleke soko, na hawa sasa ni unawapeleka soko baada ya mizi mitatu. The feedlot technology also enables the sheep to acquire the desired weight faster, save on time and space, as well as improve farmer income. Because you just bring your sheep, Three to four months after winning, you feed it with the ration. And then by seventh month, the sheep is hitting 50 kg. And the ration is forage based. There is nothing in from, out, from just foreign uh, feeds. They are just what farmer can grow in the farm. There has been a need to develop a finishing uh, a ration that can finish our uh, small ruminants, sheep and goats in a small, in a short period of time so that they can reach market weight and be sold. Speaking during a farmer's field day, officials from Calro are banking on the technology to help increase productivity and sustain production in the livestock sector. We are just taking what the farmer can use, roots, grass, hay, loose and hay, we can use some bit of cotton seed cake, some molasses, but we, tank, we bled it scientifically, not just a matter of mixing. We bled it scientifically using from a feed formulation software to come up with a, a ration which is forage based to meet the requirement of the animal. Kenya is currently a net importer of meat, and the situation is likely to worsen with rapid urbanization. Calvo is now calling for more partnerships to further upscale the technology. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Are